Heroin came into my life when I was kind of doubting whether or not I should kind of continue to do hair. I was already kind of five years into the industry and I was like, I think maybe this is a good time for me to go back to art school like I was anticipating. I had designed um, some pieces for Suzanne Barch's Fashion Underground exhibit. What I find really interesting here in New York is there is seasonal color. Whereas in Los Angeles, um, people were blonde all year long, and it was always fashionable to be blonde. It doesn't matter if it was December or February. The culture at Heroin is like a kind of like an industrial Victorian gothic parlor. It looks like a boutique salon, but it's a little, way more chic than that, and we really want a very unsalon environment. I feel like hair technology has changed over the years in um, developments and product. There's a lot more conditioners and oils in hair color. This is just like a technique that I'm using to kind of iron the cell phones because if you want like a really temporary kind of color that up comes out in like one shampoo, you just iron it directly onto the hair so that way you can have like a really high impact color without having to like process under the dryer for um, like 15 to 20 minutes. So it's a really quick kind of just add on. So this is you can really kind of like create a pop of color if you just want something you want to find. The, the best way to come into heroin salon to maximize your time and the stylist time for a thorough consultation would be to have pictures and have like real expectations of, of what you want and what you want to have done. And I always feel like there should be at least three options. It should be, you should have a picture of your ideal cotton color that you would absolutely love to walk out of the salon today. And you should have something that you feel like is maybe a little bit less than that, that's a little bit more kind of realistic and then also something that you're just okay with. service a lot of different clients on a number of different levels and whether it's like the corporate you know CEO who needs something that's really conservative or it's the really funky college kid who needs something a little bit kind of loud to express herself or maybe it's like the recovering goth girl I like to use things that are in the salon that's Davines it's Orbe, it's Sebastian, and it's r &Co. We've chosen those because there are elements to every single one of those brands that are um, impactful and work in one way or another that they don't reflect in the next brand over. I think if people are looking for a really impactful change, and even if they're not, you know, they, they can come to us. We'll do things that I think other salons are afraid to do. Yeah.